Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. I mean, Q Talent is doing great. I do appreciate all my subscribers and the people who have subscribed that are new to my channel. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you. If you watch my other videos, um, I had I have some um, kidney videos there up. Now in this video, I'm gonna share snacks that I've eaten and that I still eat. Um, with having kidney disease stage 1 with now being in remission. Now my videos aren't just for kidney disease stage 1 patients. If you have kidney disease in any stage, you can watch my videos for motivation to let you know that you're not alone. You can definitely get through this journey with a little help. Now me, I'm not a dietitian or nutritionist. However, these are things that I've done. That helped me go into remission stage. So these snacks that I've eaten are starting with that I still do eat. Starts with apple. Yellow, sweet, delicious apple. When you're going through kidney disease of any stage, it's very best to keep eating fruits, fruits and vegetables, healthy fruits like an apple. My next and favorite favorite snack, which you all may be like. Hmm, can we eat that? So this is coconut milk, non-dairy, frozen dessert, coconut almond. This is so delicious. So you're wondering, can I eat ice cream? You can eat this. And I'm going to read with you the ingredients. Now you can buy this at Sprouts as well. I don't know where else they sell it, but look in the healthy stores like Whole Foods and you may find this. Now, why can I eat this? Why? Let's check the ingredients, shall we? All right, sodium has 25 grams. Cholesterol has zero. Total carbon total carbon hydrate has 15. And then protein is most importantly what we were looking for is one gram. So you can eat ice cream, all right? You can eat ice cream. And it kills that sweet tooth that you may want to look for. So these are the bars. Next, what else can I eat as a kidney disease patient? I want this video to be very exciting to you, to motivate you. So if you're feeling down about eating any type of food or you're feeling like, hey, I don't know, just click this video and I can help you with some tips. You can get back out there, dust yourself off, and go on and get you some tips and um, get into remission stage like me. Can we eat chips? Sure, we can eat these. These are the Pirates. Pirates Booty, that's the name of it, B-O-O-T-Y, yes. Aged White Cheddar. You can eat these. These are non-GMO. You can eat these with a tomato and spinach sandwich. So you can put tomatoes on it. It's another thing I would eat. A, get some light bread. Put some, a little bit of ketchup, whatever you want to spread on it. But not too much. Get you some spinach and then a tomato. Fry it. And there's your healthy sandwich. Now the ingredients in this, and I will eat some of this, just a little bit of these with it. Ingredients are total fat 6 grams, cholesterol 0, sodium 170 milligrams, protein 2 grams, yes. So we can eat these power chips. Now you all, if you're going to eat these, do not eat any of the cheesier ones because they have more sodium. So you watch that as well. So next, what did I eat? What did I eat? We have, you guys, these are my favorite. We have veggie zucchini noodles. And these are, when you are a um, kidney disease patient, you're going to need something you can cook and not, you know, waste too long. But these cook for about 10 minutes. So, well, actually it says three or four. Saute for three or four. So what you do is you put some olive oil in a pan. And then you will put these in there with some onion. 
let it cook and you'll be ready and you can eat these with zucchini noodles um protein once again one gram um everything else cholesterol zero sodium is 10 so you need less sodium as possible and then calories is 10 this is a great snack that i still eat and i will eat this with club snack crackers but i will get the mini ones the mini snack crackers you get the large ones or the mini ones but i will get the mini ones and put it in the zucchini and eat it it is so good <laughs> and by the way this has one gram of protein as well in these club crackers you can get these from walmart far as the cholesterol zero sodium 125 milligrams like i said you're not gonna eat the whole box anyway so this is okay this is a great snack for you and for breakfast breakfast this is what i ate aunt aunt jamama original pancakes now do not get fooled this has four grams of protein sodium 740 however you will make this pancake as small as possible so when you're pouring in the mixture you're going to add a little water don't pour in too much mixture because you don't want a big huge pancake when you're washing your sodium and your protein you want a smaller pancake all right smaller pancake what kind of syrup did i use i used mrs butterworth syrup which has zero grams of protein. And like I said, you're not gonna use a lot of this syrup either. And remember, when you eat a pancake, if you choose to eat the pancake for breakfast like I did, you're only gonna have a pancake and that little taste of syrup that I showed you. You will not mix eggs with that. You will not eat any eggs when you're going to remission stage. All right, because I can do that. You wanna do what I did? That's what I did. So, what else can we eat? We can eat, speaking of, I actually have it. We can eat some spinach. Yes, spinach. Now, I throw away the package. Any type of spinach is good. But if you get it from the health store, like I said, it's going to have less, less sodium or less protein. That's where I usually get it from. So, what are you, what are you going to have with your spinach? What do you want to have? You can definitely have these croutons right here. Texas toast, zesty Italian croutons. Now whatever kind you want to get, you can get, but I usually eat the zesty Italian because I love it. Also protein is one gram. Cholesterol is zero. Sodium is 80 grams. However, you're not going to go above what you're supposed to eat. So you're not going to eat that many of these. Next, what kind of salad dressing can I eat? You can eat this, say, Thousand Island. Organic from fresh, from the Sprouts Fresh Market. It has zero grams of protein. However, it does have, um... 230 grams of sodium like I said you're gonna wash this you're not gonna eat you're not gonna pour a whole bunch on it you're gonna use a little bit so also another thing that is good for you to eat um, cereal let's talk about cereal for the cereal I ate the cereal that you can eat is Rice Krispie. Now, I do not have that, but that's the cereal that I ate. I um, actually ran out, <laughs> but I'm like, let me note that to you. So, Rice Krispie cereal from Walmart, if you look at the ingredients, they're okay for you to eat. Rice Krispie treats that come in a box are a healthy snack that are sweet that you can eat as well. As far as the milk that I drank, vitamin D milk in the jug from Walmart. That's what I drink. Right now, I don't have that either. I have um, a different, I have 2%, 2% because they didn't have the vitamin D when I went. So I got the 2%. I'm like, I don't want to show you that. I'll just tell you the kind I had. So that is all the snacks I believe that I ate. 
um, like I said, this can be a fun journey for you. You are in it to get healthy. All right, healthy. Other tips that I have. When you are going through this journey, you may want to have one of these. It doesn't have to look like this, but have your notebook with like um, pages. Say like pages. Because in this notebook, every single day, um, and I still do this, although I am in remission stage, I still do this. You're going to put your blood pressure in here. You're going to check your blood pressure in the morning. Check it at night or in the evening. Whenever you check it, you're going to note it in this book. Check the numbers. Make sure your blood pressure is great. You also will put in here what you've eaten today. Each day you're going to write what you eat in here. So whatever you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, put it in here. And you're also going to put the amount of protein. So if you ate like the zucchini that I just showed you, if you ate that, you look on there and say zucchini one gram of protein. Put that in this book because you're going to count up how much protein you eat within a day. Each day you do that. Because my ne neurologist, he told me that um, I had to only get, I think he said 63, don't go below 63 grams of protein or past that, something like that. But I made sure I didn't get to 63. I think it was 63. But if you're like less than 63, that's great or whatever your neurologist tells you. Another thing you want to put in here is your medication. Um, I used to put an easier way for me because when you're going through kidney disease stage, one of any stage, easiest way for me was to write down my medications in order. And I would put a number on the medication with a sticker to put which one I'll take first, which one I'll take second, and last. I have one, two, three, four in that order. Because it helps you out, you're less stressed, and then you know that you took all your medication right. Another tip is, read the description of your medication. That was some medication that I had that made me sleep. And you know, the best time to take that is when I went to bed. Like, it had me sleepy. So, read your description. Make sure you're not like allergic to any of the ingredients. Ask your neurologist any questions you may have. I had asked my neurologist questions about um, allergy medicine. I was like, hey, um, you know, what allergy medicine can I take? I told him the kind I was taking, the type I was taking. At the time, I was taking Claritin. And I said, hey, um, this isn't working. He was able to tell me a great allergy medicine to take, the right one that I needed. So make sure that you ask lots of questions because at the end of the day, this is about you and your health. If you're paying a doctor, ask questions. You know, why not? I'm paying you, so why not? So that was everything I wanted to put in this video. But hopefully, by going through my video, it will inspire you to, you know, know that you're not alone in this journey. People go this journey every day. But I want to post a video to help you out, inspire you. If you're feeling down, you like, ah, I'm, just, I'm just, I don't know what to do. Watch my video. <laughs> I want this video to be a happy video, exciting video for you. Because you are going through a journey that you will soon be in remission like me. Alright? So these are just tips and things I've done. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. You can also subscribe to it so you can see it again if you need inspiration. Um, you can share this video with someone that needs to, you know, hear about it. As I mean, if you have questions to ask me, you can link it below and I will answer them for you. And you have a great day. And don't forget to stay healthy, exercise, watch something funny to make you laugh. Because this is an important time that you need to stay happy. Alright? So, enjoy the rest of your day. And have a great, great evening. Watch my other videos. Thank you.